Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So I just got back from picking up this Woodmax wood chipper. This is an eight inch wood chipper. So that's, that's a pretty big capacity. It's supposed to do an eight inch log. And I bought this on an online estate auction and it appeared to be basically brand new. And that's what it still seems to be. It seems to be barely used. So I think I actually got a pretty good deal on this thing. So uh, really not gonna know until we test it out, right? So we're gonna go ahead, hook it up to the tractor. I think we'll have some adjustments to make sure that it's the right height to match it up to our tractor. And then we'll go ahead, we'll chip some limbs on it, we'll test it out and find out whether I got as good a deal as I thought I do. All right, let's see what it came with. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the pins to hook up the tractor. So I think that's them. There's a few bolts in here, not sure what that's for. And then it looks like we got some extra chipper blades. Maybe those will come in handy. And then we got the actual manual and CD. Well, that was pretty good that it came with the manual. That's pretty rare when you buy something at auction, plus the extra chipper blades. Now the bolts, all those extra bolts, that's a little, that's a little concerning, but I don't see any missing on the machine. So this is the really short PTO shaft that goes on this. This end goes on the wood chipper. And look at that uh, greaser. It's still covered in paint. I don't even see any grease on here. So that makes me wonder, you know, how much this has even been used, you know, maybe test it out once. And this end, this end goes on the tractor. This is the shear bolt. If it hits something hard, that bolt will break. And then this side will stop spinning. So this side goes on the tractor. We're gonna go ahead and just grease this up and try to get it on there. Um, if this ends up being too long, the manual says we have to cut it down a little bit to make it shorter. Hopefully it'll work the way it is. So this was another piece that came with it and I think that's supposed to go right here to guard the PTO. And I thought maybe that was the extra bolts, but it turns out the extra bolts are all too big for this. So we're gonna go try to find some bolts to fit, and get that mounted. Well, I'm going to use standard bolts on a metric machine. This would have been easier to do off the machine. Note to self. Stop being an idiot. I don't think I've ever bought anything at auction that I don't have to do something, some kind of work to. You just need to kind of factor that in. Not the easiest thing to put on. There we go. We're on. Well, everything's running. Well, everything seems to be working the way it should. All the bolts seem to be tight, so we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Now we'll cut off a few limbs and get us something to test with. Well, I've got a pile of limbs we can run through this thing. So you gotta run it while it's sitting on the ground. And then this chute, I'm gonna aim it toward the compost bin. At least shoot it in that direction. We'll adjust this chute, try to get it to shoot that far. Hopefully we can get it all the way to the compost bin. 
So the way this chipper works is it has a mechanical end feed roller in here. So that roller pulls the logs in. So all you gotta do is basically just get the limbs, get them started, and it'll pull them in the rest of the way. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I didn't want one of the gravity feed ones. That Those are ones you put the limbs in more vertically. Those rely on gravity and those do not work very well at all. You constantly have to push the limbs in to get them to feed. I wanted one that, that had the automatic in feed and that's what this is. So if you ever need to stop it, that's what this yellow handle will do. It'll stop the roller from advancing. And then if you get like a really big limb, cause it'll go up to eight inches. If you get a big one and you put it in there, it may want, not want to start. So then this, this will lift up the in feed roller and then you'll be able to get your log in there and get it started and uh, get it started feeding and then it, it'll take it the rest of the way. So that's pretty much all there is to the operation. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and start up the, the tractor and get started. So that last one I fed through there, that was actually an entire tree. It was a small tree that was over here that I cut down uh, probably a month or two ago. And um, I just tried to feed that whole thing through there. And it was just too bushy for it to pull in. You really only got about a 20 inch wide shoot to, to pull in there. And it can squeeze some of the limbs in there, but when it gets too thick, it just can't pull it through. I should have cut it into a, a few smaller pieces. It would have done just fine. So over at the log pile, I've got some poles, some long poles that I planned on cutting up into firewood. And they're anywhere from about four to eight inches in diameter or something like that. We'll see how big they are. I'm gonna get a couple of those and we'll run them through and we'll really kind of test out the capacity of this thing. So this one here is probably as big as I'd wanna feed through there. You can see that end's probably closer to three to four inches. But this end, oh my. <laughs> This end is probably a good six, seven inches on this end. So I don't think I'd really want to put much bigger than that through it. I'd be turning it into firewood. So this is actually maple, so it's not the greatest firewood in the world. So we'll chip it up.
Well, it did chip that big piece of maple there. Um, that is way bigger than I would ever probably put through there. I just, just testing it out. Maple is a little bit softer. Now you could tell that that did seem to slow it down a little bit. Um, so that's like a 200 pound flywheel in there. It's got a lot of momentum, but you can tell once you hit that bigger log, it definitely, it definitely was pushing its limits, I think. But uh, it did it, didn't break a shear bolt. Everything ran fine, way easier. I used to have one of those DR chipper shredders and it was just a little one and you just had to feed your, your limbs through it. Well, they would never feed through on their own. So you just had to try to push them together as, as tight as you could and just kind of push them in there. And then I ended up making this little stomper, like a, a log that wouldn't fit in. And I could take that log and push the limbs in, but I knew it wouldn't go into the chipper. And it was just such a struggle trying to, to chip with that. And that's the reason why I got rid of it. Um, wood chips are so useful out here. Um, you can use them with the pigs over here. You can put them in the pig pen. It'll knock the stink down. You can use it as animal bedding. We can use it in the orchard. We can use it in the garden. Uh, and you can also compost it. Um, so you know, wood chips are really useful and can come in very handy out here. And with us cutting firewood, uh, we produce a lot of limbs. So this is gonna get used and we will be able to make a bunch of wood chips up. This has been on my short list of items that I want for the tractor. And it was just so expensive. I, I haven't been, I didn't go buy a new one. So this year I have really become obsessed with auctions and they're mostly online so I can bid on them and I don't have to travel and waste a lot of time or a whole day at an auction. So I really like these online auctions except for not being able to get a good look at the item. Now this one, I think this is everything I expected it to be. Uh, very minimal that I had to do to it. I just had to put a guard on here and that was pretty much it. Everything was ready to go. Definitely was lightly used and in very good shape. It was either lightly used or very well taken care of. So I ended up paying $1,100 was my bid. So when you bid on an online auction, there's also a lot of them have what they call a buyer's fee and this had a 15% buyer's fee. So that ended up making it, I think around 1267, somewhere in there. Um, is what I ended up paying for this wood chipper. And it was, and, and I'm looking at this as a, it's almost a brand new wood chipper. I look, they still make this model online and it was $3,300 is how much it was brand new. So I got it at about a third of the price. So I think I did pretty good on it, uh, especially with as good a condition as it's in. So I know people probably, some people ask me what I, how I bid online on find all these online auctions. I use HighBid, highbid.com. You can search your zip code. And if you just search your zip code, it'll show you all the auctions around your area. But then you could also search for say, wood chipper and your zip code. And then it's only gonna show you the items that match that in your area. So I constantly have about 20 or 30 different searches that I do for different things that I'm looking for. And uh, I was happy that I got this one. So this one is not hydraulic in feed. Um, a lot of them you'll see are hydraulic and those you can actually vary the speed of how they go in. And then some of them you can actually reverse the roller and you can have it back it back out. So this one is just purely mechanical. There is a belt in here um, that is linked to the flywheel. So as long as the PTO is going, that belt is going, of course you disengage it using this yellow lever. So it's a fixed feed rate. You can't reverse it. But personally, I think that's perfectly fine with me. These models are usually about a thousand dollars cheaper than the hydraulic ones. So um, I think it's gonna get some really good use. Uh, definitely got plans to use this this winter while we're cutting firewood. Uh, I think you're going to end up seeing this a lot here on the channel. So here's a quick look at the wood chips that it made. Um, there's small ones, there's some bigger ones in here, but mostly I think that's a pretty good size. Um, that's uh, Some of those wood chippers just almost shred it and they're huge pieces. I personally like these smaller pieces. I think they make better bedding and they'll compost quicker as well. So really happy with the wood chips that it makes also. So this was not originally a brand that I would have purchased. I was really looking at the Woodland Mills hydraulic end feed and that was going to be like $4,000 to hack to get it. And uh, when this one come up, when you bid on an online auction, you don't necessarily have the choice 
of what brand it is, what color it is, what, what shape it's in, and then you gotta adjust your bid accordingly. Uh, so, you know, when a wood chipper came up, this wasn't the brand that I was probably looking to buy, but even though it's, it's a made, this is a made in China model, um, it seems to work fine. It, it's done a good job. So I, I think I'm very happy with it. Um, just, I mean, mainly because I got it at such a good deal and it performed as well as I would want it to. So pretty good. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, went and picked this up today. I had to try it out, right? You got to try it out, make sure it works the way you want to. And I, I needed to trim those limbs on the driveway anyway. So it wasn't like I was just cutting trees to cut trees. But uh, that's it for today's video, guys. I'm going to put this away. And I think I'm going to go over and start working on the workshop again. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. So we just got done picking the winners for the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So we picked the six winners on YouTube first. The first winner was Roger Jacobs. Well done on reaching 100,000 subscribers. You obviously are doing something right. Second winner was Rex Miller. Great videos, keep them coming. The third winner was Cade Campbell, and he said 100K. And the fourth winner, according to Google Translate, is pronounced, pronounced Mikhail McLakoff, or something like that. And then his comment translates to congratulations on 100K. The fifth winner is George Wiest, and he says, congratulations on 100K, a well-earned honor. And the sixth winner is Matt Moss. Congratulations on 100K. Look forward to seeing every new video you publish. So those are the six winners and their comments on YouTube. So then we ended up picking three winners from Facebook. So the first Facebook winner was John Woods. Congratulations on reaching 100,000 on YouTube. And the second winner was MK Orange. And he actually uh, attached a photograph of a wagon to his comment. And he said, this looks like the wagon frame, but there's no name on it basically. So he was trying to show me a picture of what possibly was the same wagon as the one I had. And the third comment was Pat Story. And he said, good luck on your project. So he was just wishing me luck uh, rebuilding that hay wagon. So those are the three winners on Facebook. So. Um, if you guys are, any of you are outside of the United States, keep in mind, we're going to just mail this first class mail. So this takes, it could take a month or two before it gets to you. I know during COVID it was extremely slow, um, but any time we ship internationally, uh, it's an extremely slow process. So I wouldn't expect this to show up for like a, at least a couple months. But we will do our best to try to get that mailed out to you and try to get it in your hands. So right now we're actually sitting at 108,000 subscribers on YouTube. We've already gone up another 8,000. And uh, I think on Facebook we're around 57,000, somewhere in there um, on Facebook. So that's a lot of subscribers out there watching and following along. So we do appreciate all of you. Um, do appreciate all the great comments and all of the encouragement that you guys do every week. Um, it's great to hear all those things, you know, people cheering you on every week. That does help us keep going on, keep making these videos, sharing all the things that we do out here on the property. So I just wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you guys, every one of you for watching and, and help make this happen. But uh, I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. So thank you guys very much. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video.